Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up the automated uh, Jenkins CHD setup uh, through Terraform. So let's begin. I've already provided this code in my uh, public repository. So you can uh, use this code uh, for the deployment. So um, I'm going to show you now. Uh, that how this module works simply uh, this module will create a VPC and in that particular VPC it's uh, going to launch an elastic IP um, and with also the EC2 instance as well so that particular elastic IP is going to be attached with uh, Jenkins EC2 instance and the key private and public key uh, I'm going to use I've also uh, mentioned here and in that um, EC2 instance I have also provided the user data and user data um, there is script uh, script for Jenkins uh, in that uh, particular EC2 instance which is going to be launched uh, so Jenkins will be set up uh, along with Docker so there will be two containers uh, one of it uh, in the next reverse proxy setup and other is of Jenkins. So uh, this is the way you can automate the deployment on AWS. Uh, so let's start it. So uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, so you can use this code. I have already uh, set up this code. Let me um, do Terraform apply to show you the code the best practices uh, are that you should uh, use the terraform plan and uh, but this is the demo uh, i'm giving you so uh, uh, you can use terraform apply in your dev or test environment so um, i'm going uh, i'm gonna use the terraform apply command uh, first when you initialize the Download the code. You should uh, run the Terraform in it. Uh, the Terraform in it will uh, download it. Uh, will download the relevant plugins uh, with regard to uh, this uh, module. So, as I told you, uh, we are going to launch the VPC. <coughs> Excuse me. And in that particular VPC, we have two security groups, uh, one Elastic IP, and our uh, bash script in uh, which is going to set up all the configuration required for the um, jenkins container so uh, if i navigate to my uh, uh, vpc section so i will show you uh, that the deployment uh, with regard to the vpc creation uh, we need one net gateway for private uh, traffic routing so uh, let me show you that uh, the VPC creation uh, is started. So this is the cyber range uh, as we mentioned. Um, route tables and subnets are going to be automatically created. Uh, so if I refresh it, so there will be two public uh, routes and there will be private and public subnets. So uh, if I navigate to internet gateway, Internet Gateway is attached uh, with proper tagging. So if I go to the Elastic IP, one Jenkins uh, Elastic IP is going to be created. So let's see where we are in our code. And uh, also I need to show you the key pair which is going to be created. So the key pair I'm going to use is the Jenkins demo. Uh, this the key pair is uh, created. Um, if I show you the code, uh, now the NAT gateway creation is uh, in place. It will take a little while. So uh, with regard to the NAT gateway, one elastic IP is definitely is going to be uh, created and it is actually created. So we are waiting for the other elastic IP. This is the elastic IP which is going to be used by the EC2 instance, uh, which is going to launch in our uh, VPC. Uh, everything is automated, so you will see that uh, 
this container is just uh, long, uh, this EC2 instance is just launched. In fact, it is initializing. So um, the security group uh, for the demo purposes, I have uh, made it, uh, I have uh, opened uh, the ports, uh, SSH and the other uh, web traffic is allowed from everywhere. So definitely you should not um, use um, the SSH port for your public uh, EC2 instance, but for demo, uh, um, I have to provide, um, I have to do some stuff. So uh, for the sake of, you know, time saving. So I'm going to copy this uh, elastic IP. I'm gonna put DNS entry. Uh, let's call this Jenkins and Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, access our Jenkins.seklenmushtaq.com. So, uh, if I do uh, SSH into the container, let me show you that. So, uh, it is pretty much easy. I mean, you know, with automation and Terraform, uh, with this code, you can set up easily. Um, in the proper environment required for the uh, Jenkins or you can definitely use uh, Jenkins in your internal environment so I'm going to do a search into into this particular container further I have made a lot of automation which I will be showing you guys uh, in my later videos um, automation like uh, with regard to the ELB ingress scripts created, uh, KMS uh, encryption scripts also created, which is going to automatically get, create the encryption key and uh, uh, KMS and that is all, all those are automated. And later on, we will go to the CACD section. So uh, guys, uh, we are able to access our EC2 instance. And let me show you the two ports are running and docker is automatically installed as we uh, define everything in our user data so these two containers are up and running uh, if i do docker exec interactive uh, let me simply do and cater the required command so that's needed for the um, Jenkins, so I'm going to copy this uh, path and I will paste it here. So string is coming. I'm going to copy this string and I'm going to paste it here. So guys, uh, this is the way uh, Jenkins can be uh, set up automatically deployed in few minutes up and ready. So we are going to install the modules so uh, that's it uh, that is it from my side in uh, my next video i will uh, show you the automated setup of um, elb ingress in the aws elastic kubernetes service so plugins are going to be installed and uh, rest of the setting are you are completely aware that uh, that how to set up so which i've already shown you in my past videos so that is it guys please uh, if you like uh, my videos and uh, you wanna use the code code is already available i will provide the link as well please like share and subscribe my channel thank you very much have a nice day